Hello friends. Outdoor pastor is back here again. And uh, uh, today is uh, fishing day once again. And uh, back at the actually pretty nice spot where I got my first fish of the year. And uh, still pretty new place for me to fish. But it's interesting place since it's a big lake and holds all sorts of fish. There's white fish, there's trout, chander, pike, perch, you name it. So uh, today mostly using earthworms as a bait, which is okay for uh, all sorts of different fish. I also have some lures with me I to throw out maybe later, but we start with uh, with uh, bait uh, in the spot where I fished earlier this spring. Uh, still uh, very windy today, but it's warm already. This is uh, full on, uh, not kind of full on, but it's early summer still, but a nice, a nice day. Uh, about 23 degrees Celsius. So, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, so, and in today's episode, hopefully we get to cook some fish, uh, try out some camping gear as well this evening, and uh, let's see what else happens. But stay tuned, it's going to be good anyway. Yeah, so the spot itself is very gorgeous, very lovely spot to fish, even though there's a road going over there you can't hear the noise of the cars here gorgeous nice spot but the wind again makes it a little bit different di different difficult to um, notice the bites but of course if something serious uh, bites you will notice it anyway so the small bites are a bit more tricky but yeah I just uh, let them now sit there I will show you the rig a little bit later but yeah I will let them sit there for about 15 minutes and then check them out if there's not fish before then okay so we do have uh, some fish activity already because the worms been bitten so here you see the rig I think I introduced this earlier as well it's just as a normal what people often use uh, sliding sinker then little swivel here and about one meter liter with uh, I think size 8 or something little hook and uh, yeah that's it with the with the piece of worm so that that does usually the job for me my favorite rig probably high low rig is also good but that's what I like to use here now this sorry not that but this okay but yeah let's put the new worm on I don't know about you, but at least for me, if uh, you lose two rigs in a row on the same spot, it tells me that it's a bit snaggy and uh, it's better to change the spot. So let's go to the second spot, hopefully find the spot with the fish and uh, less, less snaggy. So let's have a look what's over there. Interesting. Uh, there's a sign by a police uh, telling that uh, you uh, you should not uh, cause unnecessary suffering for the fish, which is fair enough. I don't know if it's happened at this spot, but yeah, well, these are the days that we are living in. Okay guys, of course wasn't filming, but uh, while my other rod is fishing from a little bit further there, I found this perch right next to the shore and it was hungry so it swallowed the hook so won't survive, have to keep him even though it's small, but it's still food. So anyway, if I can catch a few perch today, I'll be quite happy to uh, 
make a meal out of that. Okay guys, there's another fish. Let's see what it is. I guess it's, a, it's probably a little brim. I had one earlier, but I know it's a nice road. Really nice road. This is good eating. Good eating fish for tonight. Oh, wonderful. This kind of road is something that really tastes good and has a good meat on it. Yeah, that's a good one. Beautiful. Okay, got another bream. These are the little uh, very bony ones. So let's see if I can release him or not. Hopefully the hook is not too deep. But yeah, still nice to catch some fish. There's a hole there. It seems to be quite full of different species. So I keep fishing here. Nice. We have another fish here. It was uh, badly snagged first somewhere. But yeah, we got the roach. Well, I was rigging, uh, actually put it, putting bait in another rod. So now this spot is producing well. Uh, it's even hard to keep up with two, two rods, but uh, I think we'll manage somehow. And uh, yeah, more fish to the table. Nice. Okay, there's a bit bigger, bigger brim on now. Not a big still, but much bigger than the first one. Or the couple of first ones that we had. You can already call a green. Not just a, well, still kind of baby, but about two times the size that we had earlier. This whole soil is full of fish. I think if I keep this one or not, but it already put a little bit of fight. So I'm gonna release this brim since they are so bony still uh, if I can get a little bit bigger one I would keep it it bled a little bit but I think it still okay let's see if he goes but if not I just have to keep him it's breathing okay though Might be that I'm not able to release. Yeah, I have to keep the, this fellow. Can't help it. Sorry. But we'll eat you. We're not wasting you. Okay, there's a few fish. Bream is still, uh, uh, Rhodes is still fully alive. Brim's not doing so well and I killed, these, killed the perch already but these ones I take home with me today to cook and uh, yeah still windy here but uh, yeah I, I'm gonna take a couple of the rods back to car and then I go to uh, do some lure fishing see if we can catch something uh, bigger nicer today hopefully okay I'm back at home and uh, part of today's mission was for me to try my new tent it's about around christmas time uh, not you know, nothing uh, expensive just a normal tent but but should be uh, quite a bit better than one they had before so i'm gonna set it up and uh, i'm gonna sleep there tonight and uh, and then i'm gonna cook my fish and something else too so let's get this thing started now. Well, got this set tent set up, but definitely not perfectly yet. Uh, what I, what can I say about this tent is that it's unnecessarily uh, difficult to set up and slow. So I wouldn't take it to uh, 
probably to a survival trip. It, um, with two persons it will be easier and then uh, there's a, some little part that I didn't yet figure out how it should work because there's not any good instructions but anyway it's it's there some way, some way at least and uh, I can sleep there I suppose so I will hopefully figure these other things out later on but interesting enough but anyway it's a tent and I'm gonna try it tonight okay this time I didn't show you the whole fish preparation part but here's the pile of I made the fillets this time uh, Dexter knives are awesome because even the smaller fish was so easy to fillet with th that knife so now I'm gonna uh, wash them a little bit and then start frying them on a pan outside of course. We have this beautiful bird. Not sure what's in English. A blackbird and beautiful singer. So beautiful. Okay, I have my fish ready, this time seasoned with some biryani, Indian type of uh, spice mix, which I found to be pretty nice with fish. And I have my fire going, so uh, soon I can start cooking. It's been a long day for sure, and, but uh, rewarding as well, I suppose. Beautiful fish fry going on. Even though I know some of those little fish, especially brim, will be again quite bony, but I know that it's going to be tasty as well. So, can't wait to get into eating. I'm pretty hungry already. Well, I'm inside the tent now and ready to go to sleep soon. It's been a long day for sure. Uh, yeah, just testing this tent now and a new sleeping bag and everything. So far feels warm and cozy, so I trust I will sleep pretty well. It's already like 11, 11.30. Yeah, so it was a long day. It's still daylight here in the north, almost like daylight. It doesn't get much darker than this anymore, this time of year, so anyway, see you guys in the morning, have a blessed night. Well, good morning my friends, uh, I just got up from the tent and uh, it's a beautiful morning here and uh, didn't sleep too bad actually, quite good sleep, not a long sleep but good sleep and uh, yeah really worth trying out your tent before you go to any real camping trip or survival trip or whatever so that you kind of know how it works this was pretty normal but yeah like I said earlier unnecessarily uh, unnecessarily difficult to uh, put it up but anyway uh, yeah, and uh, for our little devotion for a morning and a new day, uh, just a thought about the tents. Uh, Israel, in the Bible times, they, uh, as they uh, left Egypt to go to the promised land, people of Israel, uh, they had a tabernacle for for God in the wilderness, God dwelled in the tabernacle, in the tent, uh, for that period of time before they built a temple and stuff. Uh, but as Jesus died on the cross for our sins and uh, reconciled the world for Himself, as God did that through Jesus, 
Uh, we can now, because of his suffering for, for our sins, we can become children of God. And there's now not any uh, built tent or temple or tabernacle for God to dwell in anymore. God does not dwell in those anymore. Uh, but he lives now inside of those who believe in him. Those who believe in Jesus. So we are now his tents, we are now his tabernacles. It's a beautiful fact, beautiful truth. Okay, well anyway, this is enough for, enough for this video. I'm gonna make a coffee and uh, uh, start the day, new day, uh, Sunday here. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this one and uh, we'll see you soon on the next adventure. Okay, bye bye.